How many minutes does this thing have? Huh? How many minutes does it have? I don't know, but... I didn't break nothing. Hello, how you doing? Take the souvenir photo. You only buy it if you like it. You guys want? Free gift at the gift shop when you buy it. Say hi, mom. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> Say hi, Patrick. Say hi, Patrick. Bye, Patrick. Bye, Patrick. <laughs> That's the idiot right there with the camera. Steven. Time machine in the spot. Yep. 
get visitors, just like yourself. So I walked on this floor since April 1st, 1937, when we began giving tours of the dam. The designs you see laid in the floor, one at my feet here, and a very large one on the floor behind you folks over there, are replicas of Southwest American Indian designs, used in basket weaving and date back centuries. These two happen to be in the wall of Hey, but there's no, there's a lot of foyer. Tunnels that take two years themselves to build, right? Yeah. Yeah. For the river, while they go in the dam, right? I know. and skill of the fearless men who performed some of the most dangerous undertakings on the Boulder Canyon project. These brave characters, called high scalers, swung from the top of the canyon walls by a single rope on a small chair, drilling, blasting, and chipping away at the rock. They worked the walls to their solid flat foundation to prevent the natural rock from falling on workers below. Some have said that in the shadow of Hoover Dam, one feels that the future is limitless, that no obstacle is insurmountable, that we have in our grasp the power to achieve anything if we only summon the will. Thank you for visiting one of the top 10 construction achievements of the 20th century. Feel free to stay and take all the pictures you like. The next presentation on the Discovery Tour is located across the street at the flagpole. that was kind of weird, but like this is very cute. I was a kid, I was like, I think we Welcome to the observation deck overlooking the world famous Hoover Dam. From here, you have a spectacular panoramic view of Lake Mead, the dam, and the Colorado River. As you look over the railing, you will see the tallest concrete dam in the western hemisphere. Hoover Dam stands 726 feet tall and stretches 1,244 feet across the top, but is only 78 feet across the base. It looks somewhat, if you can imagine, like an upside-down pyramid. This massive arch gravity structure contains 3,250,000 cubic yards of concrete, enough to build a two-lane highway from San Francisco to New York City. The thickness of the roadway is a mere 45 feet, but as the dam expands downward toward the base, it reaches 660 feet at the bottom, nearly as thick yeah. as it is tall. She weighs in at a petite 6.6 .6 million tons. From here, you can see Lake Mead behind the dam, the largest man-made reservoir in the United States. It has a storage capacity of 9.2 trillion gallons of water, enough to flood an area the size of Connecticut 10 feet deep.
Below the face of the dam, you can see two long powerhouse buildings, one on each side of the canyon. These house the 17 generators that create the electrical energy sold to support the operation and maintenance of this facility. This allows Hoover Dam to operate without the use of taxpayer dollars. The body of water below is called the Tail Bay or Tail Race, which here is actually the Colorado River. This is where the water drawn from hundreds of feet below the surface of Lake Mead spills out through the turbines and flows on downstream. The water temperature out of the turbines averages 53 to 55 degrees. You'll notice the roofs of both buildings appear to have wires coming out of them. This is called the takeoff structure. From the takeoff structure, the wires carry the electricity up and over the canyon walls at 230,000 volts. The cantilever towers that support and direct the wires lean into the canyon to ensure the wires do not touch the walls and cause a short circuit. Looking downriver, midway on the canyon wall, you will see a rectangular concrete building with six holes. This is a valve house. There are two valve houses, one on each side of the canyon. Each building contains two 90-inch gate valves. These valves allow us to discharge water directly from the lake, bypassing the turbines whenever needed. Above the valve houses, stretching across the canyon, are six three and a half inch diameter cables. Following the cables to the right, you will see the lifting mechanism of the crane supported by the cables. This is an original crane from construction of the dam. It is the oldest and largest continuously operating cableway crane system in the world, with a lift capacity of 150 tons. The crane is used to deliver large equipment from the road to the powerhouses below. We gotta get the camera. Okay. Hoover Dam. By following the wheel of time around to the back of the monument. Oh, just don't videotape and walk. I'm videotaping the walk across Hoover Dam. <laughs> semi
see how wide it is and how wide it is. Here's the wing things. This is a What is it? That's a bathroom. <laughs> it's a bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking. In addition to the functional aspects of the game, there are artistic
There's the end. Oh my god. Get that man. Forty feet the low. White mark is the high water mark. The white mark is the high water mark. And didn't they say the average was like? It's forty feet below average right now. Why is this? Look all blurry. Why does what look all blurry? Oh. Maybe black. Maybe black. Okay. Uh, I think it's the screen. It's blurry. Up, over there. Ah, cool. That's ten feet down from here. Yeah, see that's right. There we go. Okay, that was just me. Well, they said it's 40 feet below normal right now, so that's probably where it's normal. Well, maybe that's not normal. Maybe this one's normal. If it was there, then it would be going over the edge. Yeah, that's right the right empty the reservoir, yeah, escapee right route, that whatever dealie. This is concrete right here, so yeah, that's kind of... There's a concrete manufacturing plant under the water. Somewhere. Around here somewhere, yeah. Because it said the upper one and the lower one. The upper one used to be over there and the lower one's been under yeah. the water now. It's under the lake somewhere. That's pretty sweet. I think the other set of towers we can go actually go in. And really? That's cool. Yeah. Earthquake monitoring it's site. Angulation station. So it's probably between this, that, and somewhere else. Where does it stand here? Survey there. There's one there. Which means there's probably one like in the middle of the road somewhere maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I don't. By the way, we're in Arizona. How's Arizona feel, Mom? Cold. Uh, what am I? Later in Arizona, but it is in Nevada. What if my uh, phone changed? Probably yeah. not. Yeah. 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 It's just I'm, I feel an hour older now. Yeah. A what? Oh, yeah, in case you fall in the water. Yeah, and then they'll throw it to you. If you fall way down there, I think you're in trouble. <laughs> They're straight down. Yeah. And you can't see anything. Really? You might have an idea. Hey, Patrick. Oh. Want to dive? I'll give you a dollar. I'll give you a dollar. Hey, bud, there's a water. Gotcha. 
There's the marina. Marina? No, that's not the marina. It's not the marina. Could be the marina. I don't know what it is. What is it? So the boats won't go any further. No, that thing. There's a boat out there. Yeah. It's still really cold. Has anybody seen the other uh, survey spot? No. It's in the point. So I guess if you know two points and you just pick a third, you can triangulate and figure out, right? Uh, it depends what you're trying to triangulate. Surveys. <laughs> well, yeah, but you can't just pick a random point. You're trying to figure out like how far it expanded or maybe, I don't know, whatever they try to triangulate. Really? benchmark. So that must be the third point. Sweet. Let's zoom in real close. Oh, and it even has the numbers. $250 fine for what? Huh? Or imprisonment. For disturbing, for disturbing this, this mark. mark. Oh, and it even has the numbers. Sweet. There we go. We're all set. There's our third point. Oh, here's another one. Triangle. There's the triangulation station. Okay, so there's two triangulations, a reference mark, and then that one. There's another one over here, I think. Oh, we've... Yeah. Arizona. Gained an hour. Another benchmark. Oh, that's a sewer thing. There. Whoa! Whoa! You don't have to take a picture of every one of them. I don't have to. I would prefer you didn't. Oh, well, we can edit them out. And we are now an hour ahead of time or behind. Well, did we drop an hour or gain an hour? Gain an hour. Whatever. Let's see if we can go in this one. Sure, it's falling out again. Did you not wear a belt? I got a belt. It's on my shirt up. Holds my pants up. And those are falling too, so. These are gonna tighten. Oh, <laughs>